Hello Exiles. In this video I want to talk about some of the changes with my filter for the 2.6 patch. First of all, filtration is no longer compatible with my filter. At least not right now. So don't use filtration, it will not work correctly. Luckily we have a new web platform that allows us to customize the filter even better. And it's online and free. So let's have a look. This is Filter Blast. You can immediately see that there's a lot of filters to choose from. Some of them even have presets, but the customization options vary from filter to filter. This site's main focus is to provide a platform for delivery and customization of filters to the user. However, it also provides innovative tools for filter makers. So if you are working on your filter you should definitely check the template for creators. Of course, you are welcome to check any of the filters to get ideas, and there's also help pages you can read through. But I'll let you discover that on your own. Now let's talk about the update to my filter. There's a lot of changes. In fact, this is the biggest upgrade the filter got since like ever. I'll try to keep it simple and to the point. As you can notice the filter is huge. In fact it's larger, and more detailed than ever. A whole new section with lists has been added. Here you can edit some stuff that has previously been hidden in the pile of code. The block switches have also got some love. A lot of the requested features have been added. The most important thing is that the filter is now very optimized, thanks to the advanced syntax provided by Filter Blast. Basically, a lot of unused things would previously get hidden. But they would still affect performance because the game's client would still have to read them. Now all this has changed. Some items now still get hidden for various reasons, however most of them will actually get commented. That means, all the functions are still there, but the game's client doesn't read comments, and thus they appear as if they were removed. That's huge. Previously the size of the code was keeping me from implementing new stuff. I didn't want to add more things, that could potentially make the filter run slower. But now I'm free to add more detail while keeping the code truly light. A lot of other small changes have been made. You can check the change log for details. Another great thing is the rework of the MF block. The filter is now more strict than ever. A lot of things are removed and there's more blocks you can toggle to have a semi-strict version tailored to your needs. A big thanks goes out to Desolator, the maker of Filter Blast. Most of the upgrades in this version will not be possible without him. But anyways I said I'd keep this to the point, so that's the nutshell. I'll leave you to discover the rest on your own. Good luck in the Legacy Challenge League, and if you have any questions, please do leave them on the official forum or in the comments below.